tonight we're gonna be getting into something different. Tonight we're gonna be building something. We're gonna be checking out the Chaotica eyeball. But it's not the actual Chaotica eyeball. It's gonna be a DIY Chaotica eyeball. Let's jump into it. Here we go, guys. One box. Ball we're using to build the Chaotica eyeball. I say DIY cape eyeball. So, if I hold, and use it. I'm gonna go by in my hand. Simply trying to go by my mic. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna change these. I bought the Chaotica eyeball cost like 100, you know, like 199. And uh, that's a good bit of money. And then you can get like a knockoff one for about like, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 99. Uh, and I've seen one, you know, some for like 80. I've seen some more for like 75. Different prices around the spectrum, but this one right here, can y'all guess like what this one costs? So this is essentially the same size. We're gonna be putting it on this AT2020 mic. I think that's that'll definitely fit on there. And uh yeah, let's get to it. Yes sir. It's actually pretty big, nice size kind of wondering how this is going to fit over it really come down because with this mic on the top here this cage in here beside you know this is what we want open this particular front part we want this open so the mic can capture what it needs to capture on the top here we really don't mind we don't you know we don't need that Anything on the back side, we definitely don't need. That's why we have a little bit of treatment in the room, which is, uh, you know, just some blankets, cheap blankets, just to keep the, you know, some of the reflections off the wall and absorb some of the sound. And uh, putting this on here, thought this was a little bit bigger than this. It's gonna be interesting to see how it fits over there when we're done. So we're gonna take this here pop filter and uh, this circle. We're gonna put it on this ball. And what we're gonna do is that's gonna what's gonna help us measure where we're gonna cut out at. All right, now we're about to cut a hole into the ball. So what we did is we took the pop filter off of the mic and we're using that to basically help us, I don't know if y'all can see that, basically to help us get a measurement of where we wanna put the hole at. So one hole is gonna go here, and then we're gonna put another hole up under the bottom. It's gonna set on the top of the mic. So we're about to take a marker. We're gonna just take that marker, draw around where that pop filter is to, like I said, get a, get a measurement on where we actually wanna put it at. So, see if we can get a, not trying to be very, very precise on this. We just wanna get a general area to work with. Came off right there, that'd be all right. Once again, we're not looking for perfection. We'll take this out, we're just looking for kind of a general area to work with. <laughs> anyway, that's it right there, that's my circle. And we're gonna start carving out this ball right here. And that's gonna be where the mic's gonna go. The front face of the mic, the diameter, the capsule that's gonna capture the vocals, whatever you're playing in front of it. And then right up under here, that's where the mic's actually gonna set in there. Put it on the top like that. And then you have the front face in it, and then we'll just take that pop filter. And instead of actually like having one that goes, you know, in there over that, we might add that later on. We're just gonna put it over it because that's what we were doing before. That should be fine. So yeah, we're about to get into this ball, uh, cutting the ball, making the hole. All right, we are about to get to cutting this Chaotica eyeball, with this DIY eyeball. If y'all got another name to call it, uh, y'all let me know. So it's Matt on the mic. We're about to build a isolation ball to go on the mic. <laughs> anyway, we got our circle draw or drew, 
and uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's what we need. So we got a knife, a Cutco knife, cuts really good, and we also got some scissors to cut with. I want the cut to be small. I mean, uh, excuse me. I want the cut to be smooth. So we're gonna see if we can make a smooth cut. Let's get to work. So we started cutting with the knife and the knife is very, very messy. I do not like the knife for cutting the chaotic ball, the DIY ball. This is what we got right now. It's, it's very rough. I don't particularly like that. So no knife. We, we quickly got off the knife and then we get to the scissors, which the scissors were, you know, they were helping. They were doing their thing. And, uh, you know, this is what we have. I just showed you. So we went and upgraded a little bit, and we have this here Warrior Carbon Steel whole saw set, and this is from Harbor Freight. And uh, we got a handy dandy drill. I'm gonna get my battery. We're gonna find the one that is closest to the size of this, and uh, we're gonna go to work. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, we're back again, and we found the battery. Let's see, we got two bars. It should be enough to do this. It's my first time opening this set. It's intended use was for something totally different. I have not got to that yet. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be using it to do something totally different. All right, we're gonna open the set. Comes with an actual box. This is nice. Move this out of the way. Comes with an actual box. It's pretty nice. You got uh, some paperwork in there, which is instructions. And uh, plenty of different holes or saws. Wow. This is uh, more than I thought. So, I said we're going to find the one that fits, matches up the best. Taking one of these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this joker here. I think that's about it. What do you guys think? That is about it. Or we go with the biggest one, which is this one. This is definitely on the money. It covers up the whole thing. I'm wondering if that will be too big though. We want to definitely go smaller. We always can go bigger. Uh, comparing the sizes, I mean, it is about, it is about almost exactly, I think it's a little bit bigger, but it is about exactly what we want. So, like, like I said, we, we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna go uh, with the smaller one, cut it out, and then we're gonna go with the bigger one to wallow it out if we need. If we don't need it, then, there's no problem. I mean, the main thing we're doing is cutting out the room noise, uh, any more background noises or anything with this particular Chaotica eyeball, um, DIY eyeball or isolation ball. So uh, that's our main purpose of it. That's why we're using it. We want to. We don't want to cut out all of our, you know, blockage all over. You know what I mean? By we don't want to cut out all of the blockage by trying to, you know make it bigger so if we can make it smaller and it works we're gonna do that if for some reason it sounds off or something to that effect then we'll cut it bigger if it's not fitting but so right now I think this one will, I think this will work so now we have to figure out how to mount this thing up mm -hmm. 
stretch. 18 piece barbecue, hold yourself set. With all these hats. So the same as the leg, but the desire to hold Need a large or small handle. So. We'll go with this one. We had the mandrel. Goes through here. There we go, it slips in all the way. Plate goes on the back. I know y'all probably can't see this. Then we got a bolt. Goes on there and tightens it up. Or a nut, excuse me. So you got your mandrel. And you got your plate right here. Then this nut goes on there. It up. Good and tight, and then the back, back side of it is going to go on the drill. I've got a half inch, so you just hold it. I'm not quite big enough. in there then we're gonna tighten her up Got it down in there, do a little bit of drilling. I didn't want to go too far. I said we're trying to be careful again. And uh didn't do nowhere as near as I wanted to, so we're gonna go back in. Alright, went down up in there, we're gonna start pulling it out. Definitely made a mess. So we, I guess this foam material, a mess is just unavoidable. That's a nice chunk though. It's doing some work. I guess I shouldn't keep cleaning it off really. Should just get to work, right? So, that's about halfway. Nice and deep. But, I don't particularly think that's enough for the mic to sit in there and come up under the bottom and have a nice little part. So, we're going to go just a little bit deeper. And uh, you guys get to be here with us with the technical difficulties. <laughs> Peel the rest of this out. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little scared there. Thought it was a little bit too much, but uh, I'm gonna hear it on that back side. I think we got what we need. Ooh, another big, nice chunk. I definitely think that's what we need. I need a little more light, but uh, yeah, I think that's about what we need. So, second chunk, and we're gonna kind of clean it a little hole. So that's where the pot filter is gonna go here. It's 
not getting it exactly all the way, but I think that's good enough. We're not worried too much about how it looks. We're worried about how it functions. So, I'm gonna make a hole here in the bottom, about right here. All right, so we're looking for functionality, not so much as what it looks like. We want it to work, and that's our main thing that we want. Um, so there's the where the mic's gonna be seen, front facing of the mic diameter, and then the bottom where the mic goes into. So let's see if it's big enough to go over the mic. Wow, that's directly it. It goes right over the mic. That's that's beautiful. It says right over the I almost chose the bigger saw for the mic part. And uh, some told me no, just go down, be safe. We've been saying that the whole video. I wanna be safe, you know, you can always make it bigger. Wow. One thing I'm kind of wondering is like how to get all this stuff out of here. Like I don't want it on the mic. Anyway, boom. Give y'all a little view. So yeah, so we need some. Let's get a little light over here. If we can, where is my phone? <laughs> I don't know where my phone is. Anyway, so we get maybe the side or something. There's the mic there. And then it said that pop for this is gonna go right on the front of it. And it just comes off the top just like that. And boom, it goes right over the top. And it's back in there a good bit. Well, that's about three inches. Uh, maybe should have brung it, brung it a little more forward, front facing. A little bit, like again, I wanted to make sure it was you know, good. It does move. That, that you know, but this should move when we have it mounted. So the pop filter. It's a chaotic ball, our DIY chaotic ball. If someone has any, uh, if you have any pointers on how to keep this thing more clean, as far as the cutting, uh, that is an issue that we had. You know, cutting the actual ball. It's not as a clean cut as I would have wanted. We did use the saw, so maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe using a, uh, I don't know, like a razor blade or something of the sort would actually help us get a cleaner cut. Now that it's not, now that it is a rough cut, like I said, I'm not too much worried about how, you know, how it looks. I'm really not. But um, to make it look better, I do want to get a pop filter specifically just for this, like, Basically unwind this one and kind of stick it in the side of it, in the front of it, where it does fit right there. And then we don't have to worry about, you know, placing this on the mic. Like that, at, at, at a point, would be a headache. So I can actually just, I believe I can just unscrew it from here. I'm not gonna do that now though. But anyway, we'll probably end up, you know, doing that later. Here's my phone give y'all a view this video is very long i said i'm gonna probably cut out a lot of it out where y'all can just see that looks great it really does she's up in there look at that she's going right off the bottom awesome absolutely awesome Absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, as of right now, as far as what's going on with it, I'm happy with the results. So this is 30 bucks. I already had a pop filter, so you can't, you know, you can't really add that in. I had a pop filter already. So if you need to add a pop filter in there, you can get these for about 10 bucks. So let's say about 45 bucks shipping and, and whatnot. I think the shipping was, I'm not sure how much the shipping was, but 50 bucks tops. And you can get this stuff shipped to you and put it together yourself versus paying 80, 100, or even 199 for the actual Chaotica ball. Now I know right now you might have a lot of questions such as, 
how does this measure up as far as the Chaotic Ball or the Alcatron PF8? Um, those are uh, the other two. So the Chaotic Ball is 199. It looks nice. You get the, you know, you get the, you can do different colors like blue, red, yellow, green pop filters, and they're mounted in there. It looks a lot better. Ultimately, though, and then you get the P uh, Aquatron PF8. It's like squarish, cubed, you know, kind of a weird shape. Um, you want to round things off, so that's why I wanted a round ball. But how does it measure up? How does this DIY ball measure up to those? Honestly, I'm not going to be able to, you know, compare them right now because I don't have the other ones. But will this work for me? And that's what we're going to find out. So. Uh, let's say $50 tops for you know a pop filter and your own DIY ball you know for you to get a better sound out of your room our room here my room is not treated like you'll see the blankets I have on the wall but this is just, just in this corner you know what I mean so if you go around the room which I'll go around the room for you you go to the top of the walls there's nothing up there no treatment. You know, this is just a regular room. Bah! Ah! Put your shirt tracks today. You can hear. You. You. It's a little bit quieter when you get in this corner. But for the most part, this room is not treated. You hear the fan over there on, of course. I keep a fan on. I like a fan. Um. The fan makes a lot of noise, but other than that, this room, it has reverb. And it's on the top end, so it gives us, you know, high frequency problems. And then it the mic is very good. It's a $99 mic, but that mic picks up great. I, I hear stuff, you know, all throughout the house. I hear the room noise. The room noise um, is, re you know, the reverb comes in and makes a play where there's a natural reverb in the room. It's going to hinder us from processing the vocal further to put depending on what we're trying to do so we're just trying to get a tighter cleaner sound and uh you know knock out some of those noises and things and how that measures up compared to the other ones like i said we don't really know because we don't have those but what we're measuring now is price point price point 199 99.50 i'm going with the 50 dollars one that's why we have it right now i was like let me do it myself a lot of things the name carries, I'm not saying that those products are not good, but a lot of things with the name carries, their name gets good and then boom. Hey, we're the number one doing this and you're paying for the name versus paying for the ball. I don't know, I haven't used it, so I cannot fully give you a synopsis, but what we are gonna do is, we're going to see if this chaotic, uh, this DIY ball, DIY isolation ball gives us a better sound you know tighter sound we're just doing this and it took you know doing this video i would say you know for me finding what i needed maybe about 45 minutes to do this i, I could have did it faster just went in but we did you know we, we unboxed it we looked at everything looked at some of the stuff that you need and uh all the stuff that i use uh pop filter this actual ball here the mic uh the tools that i use i'm gonna try to see if i can find a link to some of those um, even maybe the camera and everything. I want to leave links in the bottom and then if you go ahead and go to those links You can find these products um, I have a lot of questions myself now You know for this particular video, you know um, We we discussed costs. I think we were did we did good on cost um, You can build it yourself way cheaper than you know a Chaotica or Alcatron um, We built it together. You guys were here with me. Like Literally everything is on camera other than me like going to go get the stuff um, this is bare minimum like straight out the box uh, shipping wasn't bad at all for this, this this ball it came in actually came a day early and uh we were we were anticipating a storm which is hurricane ian um and, uh, i'm in georgia so we were you know anticipating part of you know getting that storm so with that doing that and it came early i like that that was great um Building tips, I'm going to say I would go ahead and uh, just scratch the scissors and scratch the knife. Um, they, they can help, but ultimately I would try to use the saw, in my experience from doing it. Try to get a, try to get a cleaner cut. Uh, I, 
think it did that. Uh, pros and cons. So pros on this, I would say the pros on this is it's affordable. Um, it's easy to do, ease of use. Like it's, it's nothing to do to sell yourself. Anybody can do it. Um, I feel like it's definitely gonna give us a tighter sound. We're gonna get into that in the next video.